Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Action Painting Pro by developer Ian McClarty. This is a platformer where we're going to be creating a beautiful work of art to a pulse-pounding soundtrack by wandering about on these scaffolds that, as you can tell, are very quickly reorganizing and reorienting themselves. As you can see in the top right corner, there's actually a few very noteworthy metrics that we need to be judging ourselves by. Uh, they happen to be heart, money, and I'm supposing that last one is inspiration. Uh, and we basically need to jump around on all these scaffolds fast enough to be able to actually balance all three of those. Otherwise, as you can see, uh, things sort of fall away and we end up falling off the bottom of the painting. But then, you know, whatever we'd created is hung up in the gallery, which is kind of awesome. Uh, so let's do a couple rounds of this and we'll see what kind of cool creations we can make. I actually kind of like that one. Very simple, but, uh, you know, it gets the job done. So I don't know what that tool is. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of different art tools that you'll pick up, and I think the first one you get might determine uh, what the music soundtrack might be, but I'm not sure. I've had several... Uh, come up in the past, and you can also see there's an eyedropper tool there, that's one of them, there will be uh, just your standard paintbrush, a straight stick, which I'm going to assume is probably like chalk or something like that, uh, and I've seen also that one that looks like a big, uh, just solid, oh wow, that's a cool effect, I don't know what that one was supposed to be, looks like a little sprout coming out of a seed, um, anyway, yeah, there was this big, uh, sort of a rectangular box one, and that one seems to recolor the entire background, and uh, that can help you try to get to a place where maybe you're happier with the background color and come to some sort of compositional harmony, I suppose. Although there's no guarantee you'll get a color that you actually want. Oh, I've fallen off. Alright, that's actually not a bad one either. Uh, the green actually goes rather well with the center part. And it looks like a twisty straw, or not a twisty straw, just a bendy straw at the top left corner there. Let's do uh, another painting. It's a little bit chaotic. I have to say the controls work very well, though. I was a little surprised by how uh, accurate, uh, accurately I seem to be able to jump around the landscape. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this contrast of these colors here. And I kind of also enjoy the metaphor of having the artist have to balance these elements in their life. You know, inspiration, money, and I guess uh, heart being, you know, whatever, you know, feeling of trueness that maybe the artist has to themselves. Um, yeah, I like that little seed one. That creates a very strange effect, but I think it looks quite lovely. Uh, so if we want to, we can maybe binge on a couple- Oh, I totally missed the scaffold there. Not super happy with that painting, unfortunately. Let's try another one. See, now, if we could take this to the next level, we could combine it with that, uh, that painting game. What was it the one? I think it was a Jonathan Blow that made that? Uh, where you could paint and then paint for money, essentially. So then we could try and auction the paintings that we create in this, and there would be a whole meta game, and the game would like analyze the analytics to how long you stayed alive and how much passion went into the painting, or some ridiculous thing like that. It could end up just being completely random, or maybe have players bid on each other's paintings even. Who knows, any, any crazy combination of possibilities are out there. I have to say I am incredibly uh, impressed with the soundtrack. There seems to be a lot to it, and it seems like there's a bunch of different ways that it can go. That ended awfully fast. But I have to say, not too bad compositionally. I kind of like the balance on that one. Uh, there's a little bit of that, that one edge there, that bright line, the one green line that seems to kind of be calling my attention, but then everything beyond that is very uh, sort of dreamy. All right, I should probably not get into analyzing all the paintings that I incidentally create through jumping around, but, you know, the process is part of the uh, the joy, I suppose. I could also try to maybe uh, draw something intentionally here if I want to have a more successful painting, but uh, that's probably going to be nearly impossible. Well, all right, I guess I'll just fall off the side of the screen as soon as I get started here. Uh, by the way, if you don't pick up the paintbrush or some sort of an art tool at the beginning, uh, the music does not kick into effect, it seems, so you'll just be kind of wandering around for a while uh, with just a blank canvas, and maybe that's your goal. Maybe you can avoid ever picking up a single tool, and that'll be your style. You know, that could be a whole other level as you journey from world to world using different art styles on each one of your paintings. You could learn new styles of composition, more about art in general. It could be an uh, edutainment title. But it probably won't. Honestly, I think this is a very cool idea. I would love to see something like this developed into a title that has something, uh, you know, bigger beyond it. You know, the scope of it could be rather increased. And at this point, I kind of want to just wander around with this brush because I really like that effect quite a bit. But I'm running out of heart, so I'm going to grab that. Uh, there should also probably be some kind of reward for the, like, the longest you can stay alive. Maybe you could unlock new types of 
you know, tools or something like that to create new effects. That would be kind of another you know, extra added bonus to this concept, but I really, really like Action Painting Pro. I think this is a great game. Uh, it's super simple, accessible. It's not a thing that you re really need to spend a lot of time over analyzing or anything, but I think that the effect of uh, creating something on the fly as you're playing a game and being able to appreciate it uh, just like a little snapshot like that is a kind of a nice thing, and it's, it sort of puts you on this little journey. And I kind of wish that we could create a museum as we go and maybe uh, replace some of the old paintings that we don't like anymore with new ones that you think are maybe better. Uh, I don't know. There seems like a lot of options that you could take this in. I'm sort of seeing the museum looking like a, you know, the Rogue Legacy uh, gallery as you go through, and you just like pick one, hang it up on the wall. Maybe you could take a tour of it, or let patrons in, maybe even uh, let some of your online friends in to wander around in your museum for a while and rate the ones that they like, and I don't know, maybe leave a tip on the way out or something. I don't know. <laughs> it could be any any combination of things. You could be a, a museum gallery uh, owner at the end of this whole experience. Anyway, I'll probably wrap this up. Pretty short episode, I know, uh, but how much more is to be said? It's a simple game but one that you should definitely check out. The link's going to be in the description if you want to try Action Painting Pro yourself. It is totally free, of course, and you can go ahead and grab it, uh, download it, give it a try, see what kind of beautiful, masterful works of art you can create yourself, and feel free to share with me any kind of experiences that you've had that were noteworthy in your playthroughs. Uh, but that is going to do it for another day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, feel free to leave some support. I greatly appreciate it if you're enjoying the series, so please let me know in the comments, as well as the occasional like is also a huge help if you feel like it. No pressure, no obligation. Uh, but I will be back again tomorrow if you'd like to stop back for another wild, wacky, crazy, artistic, unique indie game. Who knows? It could be anything. So I hope to catch you back again tomorrow, and I hope you have a lovely night. Talk to you later.